Yeah, and Steve Kern's commenting, how do you keep yourself motivated in days that ain't going well? Because I think, like, so when I was younger, I, 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 I really didn't care about anything but fishing. I, and when I was in my 20s, I really didn't care about anything other than doing well in tournaments. The older I get, the uh, the more life experience. In 2012, I almost cut my hand off and I had to wear a cast for uh, nine months to try to get the nerves to grow back. I actually fished an entire season of top bass with a cast on. That uh, And then in 2016, I got blood clots while I was at the FLW Championship that I probably should have died from. I, I, the doctors didn't even know how I didn't, they didn't let go. If they would let go, they could have went to my brain. And then I found out I had hemochromatosis, which is an, an iron uh, blood disease that's genetic. So when I'm having a bad day on the water, I really take into consideration, uh, like, what does this matter? Do you get what I mean? Like, as much as I love mm -hmm. it, it's not yeah. as important as my family. It's not as important as my friends. It's not as important as... A lot of things. And, and you know what? And when I get home from fishing, uh, nobody asks me here how it went. I get home. The puppies are happy. Amber's mm -hmm. happy. The kids want to go outside and play baseball or that stuff. You know, the, the less, you know, I, I think that the less you think about catching fish, probably the more you'll catch fish. Yeah. Right? Because you, you think about anything. If you, uh, you really want to hit a home run. If all you think about is hitting a home run instead of hitting a ground ball, probably not hitting a home run you're just going to strike out a lot so mm -hmm. he has bad days of fishing we're all used to watching tv shows where they film 22 minutes of uh fishing in two weeks right or three days it, it's everybody has a tough time even look at the best anglers in the world if you watch the elite series you see mm -hmm. a guy won an event and then the next weekend they uh you know they're in 75th place and it, it doesn't bother people people you get to a point where you you kind of expect it right if you're gonna have a good yeah day, it's that yin and yang in life so it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all i think that it bothers more i think other people think it bothers me more than that even when mark caught his two walleye and beat us you know sean and i were really hard on mark and gave him a hard time so it's well deserved that mark caught more fish and then mark gave us a hard time right mm -hmm. so that's the yang effect yeah I, I, I don't think that anybody should beat themselves up or worry about if they caught two fish or 200 fish. Yeah. It'd be fun. You get mm -hmm. like at like the end of the day, it's just fishing. It's fun. Yeah. And that's all I find fishing is fun and relaxing. And all I'm doing is just having a great time with it. I tell you that if I got up tomorrow morning and I, I was like, oh, I got to film a vlog. I got to catch fish. I got to catch fish. I will catch nothing. I'll fish too fast. Right, I won't stand spots long enough. If I go out there and I, you know, I don't really care, and I, I flip weed and I, I have a good time, listen to some music, right? I, I listen to mm -hmm. past sometimes when uh, I'm fishing. I just have a good time. Uh, yeah, I'll catch fish. Nice. Yeah. Now I'm going. I have one.